Hi and welcome to Around the Cloak, your monthly video update on progress and developments from the Cloak Coin team. I'm Joshua, the Global Spokesperson and Australian Coordinator for Cloak. And for our very first episode of 2019, I'm coming to you from my home in Sydney, Australia. We kicked off the new year with all coordinators preparing strategy documents uh, for their respective markets. And then we had a group meeting to discuss and brainstorm ideas for promotion, education, partnerships and adoption. I'm really proud of our coordinators who all have unique strengths and in 2019, I'm very confident in how well we will work together as a team and leverage each other's abilities. Uh, so we won't be actually hiring any more coordinators until the implementation of the dev fund is complete and fully tested and development is our first priority and we're dedicated to educating our coordinators to secure further organic growth through tight cooperation and a strong focus on data-driven strategy. So each of our coordinators publish monthly updates on our blog and to find them just head to cloakcoin.com, hover over blog in the menu and then click on the blog you're looking for. Let's summarise our coordinator team uh, leading into 2019. So first up there's myself, Joshua, the Australian coordinator. Then we have Igor taking care of the Russian speaking markets. Emanuele looking after Italy. Ex-Slave taking the lead on Portuguese speaking nations, Portugal and Brazil. Then there's our Dutch coordinator Ivan in the Netherlands. We have uh, Shy Bob leading the way in Vietnam, and last but not least, Asatin, our coordinator in Turkey, who also engages with surrounding countries in the Middle East. Uh, I urge you to head to our website and check out the updates from each of our coordinators. This year, we aim to streamline the process for our community to consume the latest news. Our website will be the go-to resource for all things Cloakcoin. We can't wait to show you all of the new content and useful resources that we have in the pipeline, both to help our current users uh, to make the most of their cloak coins and for newcomers to get the education that they need. We have some fantastic opportunities to work even closer with Binance, and I can't wait to meet the team at the Binance Blockchain Week in Singapore from January 19 to 22nd. Uh, I will be flying in to attend the conference and have the opportunity to meet uh, senior management of Binance, over 50 influential speakers and many other industry leaders. Now, Anna Capulco is only about a month away and I've been working hard on my presentation. It has been an absolute pleasure working with Jeff Berwick from the Dollar Vigilante and his incredible team. As one of the most exciting and well-known events, not only for crypto, but also for the broader libertarian community, Anna Capulco is a game changer for Cloakcoin. I'm speaking alongside some of the most influential minds that make up the incredible social movement that we are all a part of. Make sure you head over to the Anna Capulco website and check out the speakers page. You'll find a link below in the description of this video. And if you're going to be visiting Acapulco in Mexico for the event, please reach out to me on Twitter, where I am available at Satoshua. We were recently granted our V-label on the Binance uh, Info website, and the V-label means that information and content shown on Binance Info for Cloakcoin is verified to be managed by us, the Cloakcoin team. You can see that we have been verified by the animated V-label that appears next to our project name. If a project doesn't have the V-label, that means the content is maintained by the community. Uh, we are very pleased to have gone through the verification process and we're in fact one of the first projects listed on Binance to do so. Uh, if you take a look at the official tweet from Binance about us being verified, uh, you'll notice how committed we are as a team to staying on top of important matters such as our relationship with Binance. We've been listed on instant cryptocurrency exchange CryptoWolf, where you can easily purchase Cloakcoin anonymously without the need for user registration or verification. So go to CryptoWolf.eu to learn more about this fast, secure and affordable way to get your hands on Cloak. And Cloakcoin has also been listed on well-established Australian exchange Cointree. 
Having been in business since 2013, they are a trusted platform who provide more than 61,000 registered users with a simple and secure trading experience. Cointree have partnered with Microsoft startup sponsored payment automation company, Gobble. <laughs> this global alliance between Gobble and Cointree enables automated bill payments with cryptocurrencies. This means that users are able to pay any bill in Australia with crypto, and that will soon include Cloakcoin. So with Australia being a global leader in cryptocurrency adoption, we are both very excited to be working with Cointree, especially following the launch of their new interface and expansion into international markets. As 2018 came to a close, we were invited on to New Kids on the Blockchain to share a short roundup of the year and some of our plans for 2019. As always, it's a pleasure working with Ash and Lisa, and you can find a link to the video we were featured on in the description below. Anna Capulco is coming up very soon, commencing on the 14th of February. I'm working hard to prepare my presentation as an official speaker for the event, and a key part of preparations for this incredible opportunity are completing the media rounds in the lead up. So over the next few weeks, I'll be taking part in interviews with Anna Capulco's media partners. Keep an eye out for this coverage. We will share it across all of our social channels as they become available. And a link to all the uh, speakers and the full list of speakers for Anna Capulco is available in the description below this video. Cloakcoin has been integrated with My Crypto Checkout, a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency payment gateway already used by more than 500 vendors. You can send Cloakcoin directly to the wallet of the vendor with a 0% transaction fee, fully automated and peer-to-peer. -peer. As the adoption of Cloakcoin is a core focus for us, we are looking forward to helping more vendors become part of the cryptocurrency ecosystem. So if you're a business who is interested in accepting crypto, please visit our website at cloakcoin.com to get in touch. One of our dedicated coordinators will be more than happy to assist you in setting up a suitable payment gateway so that you can start accepting crypto and of course, Cloakcoin. Some vendors who have recently started accepting Cloakcoin include the official WikiLeaks shop, Airstream Jets and SecPoint Cybersecurity. The coordinator team is actively working to increase Cloak adoption each and every day and we keep a list of merchants accepting Cloakcoin for you to view at cloakcoin.com forward slash vendors. In our last episode, I mentioned that we made the decision to upgrade to BTC code base version 0.17.0.1 rather than migrating to Litecoin. The upgrade is still underway and progressing very well, and the dev team are still implementing the proof of stake coin features and the associated Enigma features will be implemented next. SegWit is not going to be enabled as we will address transaction malleability a different way. And we are also investigating a reported potential nothing at stake attack vulnerability. This is not specific to Cloak, but as part of our commitment to security and quality assurance, we are taking the usual proactive approach. Cloakcoin is looking into creating a brand spanking new user interface with Electron as a front end to the new client daemon. Speaking of user interface, our developer Anorak is now serving as technical lead due to his enthusiasm for the project and the developers are very fortunate to now have the assistance of the creator of Enigma itself, Razor. The guys are doing fantastic work and making solid, consistent progress. So watch this space as we roll out new features and additional upgrades to the system. In summing up, 2019 is set to be a huge year for crypto. We've already seen a ton of major factors from a macro geopolitical standpoint, right down to minor policy changes at the individual level. This year, we've seen Google forcing wallet apps to remove certain features in order to stay published in their Play Store, yellow vest protesters calling for runs on the French banks, increasing concerns around the likelihood of a financial crisis in 2019, and the Australian government passing anti-encryption laws, new projects emerging to address privacy challenges directly affecting Bitcoin, and plenty of excitement around the likes of Ethereum moving to proof of stake. 
Now, news headlines aside, let's consider Cloakcoin's progress for a second and think about where it fits in the broader picture. As a project boasting more than four and a half years experience and a working product that has been audited by a NASDAQ listed cybersecurity firm Cognosec, Cloakcoin is running on pure proof of stake, offering holders a 6% staking reward and choosing true decentralization with no need for masternodes. Cloakcoin is enhanced by our unique anonymization technology Enigma and unlike many other privacy projects, maintains an auditable total money supply. Cloakcoin is a perfect way to hashtag finish fiat while you hashtag be your own bank and pay with crypto, not your privacy. So show your support for Cloakcoin by sharing information about what sets us apart from our competition as a long established project and help us achieve our mission for 2019, which is all about education. With the dev fund just around the corner and so many lessons learned over the years, we are very well positioned to succeed. If you're like me and spend a lot of time at events, you'll soon realize that without privacy, blockchain is perhaps the world's best ever surveillance technology. And that's not a good thing for our human rights. You'll also notice that regardless of the focus, most conversations around blockchain and crypto manage to find their way to privacy. It's something people care about because at the end of the day, personal data belongs to the people. So let's take it back. Let's start a revolution of our own. And that brings us to a close for this episode of Around the Cloak. So here's a quick reminder that links to everything mentioned in this video are available in the description. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media for the latest updates. And remember, pay with Cloakcoin, not your privacy. If in this episode you noticed something a little bit different about me, uh, specifically a piercing, uh, perhaps consider that it might be a sign that I'm feeling bullish. <laughs>